It's been 10 years since a deadly tornado ripped right through the town of Windsor. But for many people in that community, it feels like it was just yesterday. One person lost their life when that twister hit. It caused millions of dollars in damage. Today, the city marked the anniversary in a quiet way. Dylan Thomas has lived in Windsor for years now with us. And Dylan, the storm left deep scars for some families. For some, but they say those deep scars actually helped define the community for the better. Today I spoke with one family who said they were actually in the basement of their home when the tornado rolled through and they remember it like it was yesterday. For those who have lived in Windsor most of their life, the Windsor of today was formed by the devastation of decades ago. Kind of like a train going through a bit. Ten years after the tornado, the Bowman family sifted through a box of memories. Oh, is this our house? Like, yeah, this our house? that is. We saved that. Reminded of the day their home was destroyed. He said, I just want to go downstairs, and I'm so thankful I listened to him. As soon as my foot touched that bottom step, that window blew in, and our whole house imploded. Cody was only four years old, but he remembers. Sorry. Like, cover my ears with the teddy bear. Their home was ripped apart. The garage was missing, most of our roof was missing. An experience so scary. Sheila and the three kids were all crying. They said they didn't want to move back. The family never returned to their old home. Brady's spray painting, thank you, Windsor, on our garage that was no more. But the outpouring of support and assistance they were given encouraged them to stay. The family rebuilt and sold, relocating just one neighborhood away. This town came together and people came from all around to help. And it just, we were stronger in the end because of the tornado. This is just a really special place. I can't imagine living anywhere else. Another example of that strong community comes from the Weld County of Office of Emergency Management. Today, to honor the life of a World War II veteran who was killed in that tornado, they're actually going to be going to his favorite park, cleaning it up, giving community service back to the park he loves so much. Reporting live in Windsor, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First. Oh, nice touch. Dylan, thank you.